Georgia grand jury selected in criminal investigation of whether Trump tried to overturn election. Trump has repeatedly defended his actions, calling the contact with Raffensperger perfect while repeating baseless, false claims for widespread voter fraud in Georgia. The former president's strident criticism of the prosecutors and public officials leading the ongoing investigations, including the Atlanta inquiry, prompted Willis to bolster physical security at her office and personal protection at her home. In advance of Monday's special grand jury selection proceeding, local authorities closed streets around the downtown justice complex as an added precaution. A special grand jury in Georgia has been selected to hear evidence on whether former President Trump tried to illegally influence the state's 2020 election. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis requested the jury back in January. If you recall, Mr. Trump made a phone call after the 2020 election to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and urged him to, quote, find the votes to overturn the re election results. I just want to find... Uh... 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. Tamar Hellerman is senior reporter at the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, and she joins us now. Tamar, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate your time and your reporting. So I want to ask about this unique role of the special purpose grand jury. What exactly are, is this, and, and what are the first steps? Yeah, it's a very rarely used investigative body here in Georgia. It's been used in the past to look at really complex public corruption cases involving elected officials. And really, the purpose is investigative. Prosecutors turn to special purpose grand juries when they're having issues getting officials to speak to them, people to testify under oath, if they're having issues collecting documents. And so that's exactly what this body is going to do for up to a year. They have subpoena power. They're able to really dig in on a single topic, whereas a regular grand jury here in Georgia might hear dozens or hundreds of cases. This grand jury is only going to hear from this one case, really allowing them to dig in. And, and the Fulton County District Attorney began this investigation 15 months ago. Can you tell us what's happened since then um, and how has it led to this election of a special grand jury? Sure. Uh, District Attorney Fonnie Willis announced this weeks after she entered the job. She's the first female DA here in Fulton County, Georgia. And she mentioned how one of her first days in office was when the public found out about this phone call between Donald Trump and Secretary of State Raffensperger. And she felt like she had no choice then to investigate. Um, she felt like all of the other investigative bodies here in Georgia uh, were conflicted because President Trump had reached out to heads of those bodies uh, to try and influence them in her eyes. So she spent the last year kind of quietly assembling evidence, getting her prosecutors to read up on the case, talking to witnesses who were willing to talk voluntarily. But she mentioned to me that she's had issues getting a lot of people to talk. Upwards of 30 people have declined to talk to prosecutors without a, a subpoena. And so that's exactly what she's hoping to get with this special purpose grand jury. That's really interesting and helpful to know kind of how this came about. Um, you know, Mr. Trump has been the subject of a number of investigations, but a lot of people see Georgia as potentially the most damaging, whatever comes out of this. So how strong is the evidence, do you know, against the former president? Well, central to the case is this hour-long phone call that was leaked to the media before Georgia's runoff elections, before our uh, votes were certified on, on January 6, 2021, where the president asked Brad Raffensperger, the secretary of state, to, quote, find him almost 12,000 votes, which is exactly the, the number that Joe Biden was leading him by. Um, the fact that this audio exists at all is pretty darn remarkable. Um, you don't see that with any other races. Um, and kind of moving on from there, the uh, DA Willis has mentioned there are several other things she's looking into, including testimony that Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, gave to a Georgia Senate hearing. And that also was taped. So there's kind of hours of, of audio tape to look into. So I think a lot of people see those pieces of evidence as kind of much stronger than, than what you've seen in some of these other investigations. At the same time, what the DA is going to need to prove to a jury in order to get, uh, you know, a, a conviction is that 
Trump had criminal intent, that he believed in his, uh, you know, that, that he knew that he was committing a crime when he was asking Brad Raffensperger to do this. And some lawyers I talk to think that that's going to be a, hard, a high uh, bar to, to clear. Mm, that's so interesting. I remember being down in Atlanta covering that runoff election when that audio dropped, and it was certainly a bombshell. Um, so we'll see what comes out of it. I mean, the district attorney said that she'll she's going to wait until after Georgia's primary election, uh, which is later this month, to subpoena public officials. You mentioned there are a lot of people that don't want to talk. Um, do we have any idea about who might be the first target or among the first targets? Number one will likely be the star witness, Brad Raffensperger. He has a primary challenge on May 24th, a Republican congressman named Jody Heiss, who has the endorsement of Donald Trump, who wants to decertify or at least try and go back and question the results of the 2020 election. Um, that race is likely to go into a runoff, so it might not even be decided on May 24th. So he is definitely person number one. He's, he's mentioned uh, on different uh, public television programs that he's waiting for a subpoena in order to talk. There are also many others in Georgia politics who are up for a re-election who, who could get subpoenas uh, on their doorstep come June 1st. There are also several others in Trump's uh, orbit who we're expecting to get subpoenaed as well. Yeah, that Raffensperger race will be very interesting to watch. I know they had a debate earlier today. So Georgia, center of the political universe, as we like to say. Tamar Hellerman, thank you so much for your time and reporting. Thank you.